You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes 2021. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Taking a look back at 2020, there were many lessons to be learned in post-acute and long-term health care. We here at NACA feel one of the most important issues the coronavirus pandemic displayed out into public view is the importance of CNAs, assisted living caregivers, hospice and home health CNAs. It saddens and angers me that it took a crisis of this magnitude for so many in our country to realize exactly who CNAs are and what very important and life-sustaining work they do. NACA has always known the significant contributions of CNAs were the lifeblood of any care facility or nursing home, and now our country has learned it the hard way with millions of sick, frail, and elderly residents and not enough CNAs to provide the so desperately needed care. As CNAs have been in the media describing both the physically and emotionally demanding work they do, I hoped the younger generation would step up and take on the challenging role of CNA. In my research, I found a story that I felt must be shared, a story of a remarkable young woman who despite personal tragedies has found peace and used her life for such great things. Thank you to the Taunton Daily Gazette for initially printing this fantastic story. Meet 17-year-old high school senior Olivia Weber from Taunton, Massachusetts. She just completed a Certified Nursing Assistant or CNA training course, the tuition for which she paid for herself by working at Famous Footwear and Honey Dew Donuts. Yes, you heard that right. She paid for her own CNA tuition by working not one but two jobs. This is commendable and respectable on its own, but wait until you hear the rest of her story. When Olivia was in eighth grade, her father died from mental health issues. He took his own life. Of course, this was a life-altering and devastating event, especially at her age. So Olivia used her grief to learn more about health care, especially mental health care. And so she discovered her passion for helping others in need. She got involved with Samaritans Inc., a Boston-based suicide prevention nonprofit. She says she regularly runs their 5K races and has raised over $1,000 for them. In her junior year of high school, Olivia founded a group, Our Minds Matter, an extracurricular club that focuses on mental health education for students and provides an outlet for them to talk about mental health and suicide loss. The club got started just before the COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused an unprecedented mental health crisis. Olivia said the club has taken the initiative to boost other students' mental health during remote learning. She said the club asked teachers at her high school for a list of students who could use a boost, a pick-me-up, and the club created notes of encouragement to be delivered to those students. So that brings us back to Olivia paying her own money to take the CNA course. Olivia said the course consisted of Zoom calls over the summer, followed by in-person practical skills learning, and finally, 24 hours of clinical experience in a local nursing home. As a CNA, Olivia said she helps residents with feeding themselves, 
putting them to bed at night, and maintaining a clean environment. Of her CNA role, Olivia said, in a pandemic, it was really crucial that we develop a relationship with the residents because they weren't able to see their families. So that was definitely a large portion of the job I didn't really know that CNAs had done before. Olivia said she wanted to become a CNA to show colleges her interest in the healthcare field, but also to see if this was a field she was truly interested in. Now, she says she plans on working as a CNA through college. And did I mention that she recently got accepted to Harvard University, something her dad had wanted for her from a very young age. But healthcare isn't Olivia's only passion. She's a leader, currently serving as class president and as a captain of the varsity track and field team. She said she's run track since middle school at the encouragement of her coach. She credits her coaches for pushing her both athletically and academically. Olivia is also involved with business clubs and student projects. She said she's had to become good at time management and organization and keeping a journal and a to-do list of what she needs to get done. All that work takes a toll, but Olivia said she can handle it, and I'm certain she can. Although she'll be headed to Harvard this fall, she plans to continue her CNA work. What an outstanding young woman who has taken the personal tragedy of losing her father and used it to help others. If you are in emotional distress or crisis, you may call the Anonymous Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. Olivia, you are a caring, compassionate, and intelligent young person with great leadership abilities. The residents you serve are so lucky to have you. Your sacrifice and commitment to healthcare are tremendous and set such a powerful example for others. I'm certain your father would be very proud of you. Everyone, please join me in recognizing the outstanding achievements of a fantastic young lady Olivia Weber, CNA hero. Thank you.